Hi everyone, Joshua here with Barista Warehouse. Today we're making French press coffee using the Espro Ultra Light Press. Now when they say it's ultra light, they really do mean it. And the ultra light weighs only 210 grams in total. Now the Espro uses a double wall stainless steel insulation, and this keeps your drinks at a perfect temperature, whether you're brewing them for hot or cold drinks and will hold this for hours, which is really ideal if you are going to like sip on your coffee or you're heading out for a hike or you just wanna keep a drink cold for the rest of the day. Now it is gonna hold just under 500 milliliters and it does come in six different colors, including the brushed steel one that you see here. And if you're wanting to shop the full range of ultralight travel presses, then you can follow this shop link up above. Now the filter used with the Espro is a super fine mesh filter that's also double walled to remove all of those grinds out of your cup where you have an outer basket that clips over an inner basket for what I hope is going to make a cleaner cup of coffee or tea if tea can get any cleaner. But there are also two parts to the lid where on the inside you have more of the sipping part. This holds the plunger in place and it has a few holes around the inside of it that allows the liquid to come out and a nice lip on it that makes drinking straight out of the Espro feel really natural and easy. And the top part of the lid, this is the final seal to make the Espro fully leak proof. Now you're obviously gonna place this on to travel with and it's got a nice solid handle on top. You could easily get a carabiner across that and then link that up to your bag to make traveling even easier. So let's jump straight in now and start brewing using the ultralight travel press. So first up, coffee. It's my favorite thing to drink and we're gonna be adding 20 grams of coffee or about two heaped tablespoons. Now, you don't really wanna be adding any more than this as it will prohibit you from pressing down this plunger all the way down to get the lid on later on. But you wanna be grinding these beans to a medium coarse grind, which is around a French press grind essentially. And we wanna place the grounds into the Espro first without the filter there, and then pour around 350 grams of boiling water on top of your grinds, making sure that you get them all nice and wet. There's also a max fill line inside the Espro, and you wanna keep an eye on this as the filter does take up some space and you need to gently press it down. There are also multiple seals around the plunger, but just in case, you don't wanna have any of that water running up the sides. So I would leave this in the position that I've got it in with the coffee and the water all infusing inside and we haven't plunged yet, but the lid is on and it's keeping a nice thermal stability. Everything's nice and hot and we're gonna be waiting around four minutes now. So I am aware that you can purchase paper filters for the Espro and they fit in between the two double filters. This would make a brewed coffee similar to say an AeroPress or a pour over brew as the paper filters will remove more of those smaller fine particles out of your brewed coffee for an even cleaner result. And you can find those paper filters in this link up above. So with the four minutes being up, I'm just gonna slowly begin pressing down the plunger. Now, with any plunger style scenario of brewing coffee, slower is always best to get the better results in the filter. If you press too fast, it's only gonna mess up the filtration and you'll end up getting grinds in your cup. So once you've pressed it all the way down, you could probably add some milk to this if you wanted to and definitely be placing the lid on is gonna keep this deliciously hot for hours to come. Now drinking out of it, the flow is really nice and steady and you can drink out of the lid quite comfortably. But I will say that the insulation is so good that you kind of want to drink it out of a cup first just to check the temperature. And I might do that just now too. That way you can all see the results. And now the tea, which is pretty much the same method as the coffee, except we're not gonna be grinding it. And you should be brewing around one to two grams of tea per 100 mils of water. So if I'm aiming for 350 mils of brewed tea, I'm gonna be using around four grams of tea leaves or about one full heaped tablespoon. And I have an unusual tea appetite. I'm gonna be using a mixture of rose petals, lavender and saffron, but you could use black tea, green tea, white tea, it doesn't matter, it's really up to you, any tea is fine. And you wanna place your tea in the Espro, then add your hot water. And I'm gonna give it a little bit longer here to steep, perhaps five to eight minutes of steeping time before I press the plunger all the way down, nice and slowly to the bottom. Again, making sure that you're keeping an eye on that maximum fill line when you place the plunger in. So whereas coffee has a really nice range of drinking temperatures, say around 40 degrees up to say 70 degrees, tea, 
I don't mind if it's piping hot all day long, so I'm just gonna keep the lid on that and keep it brewing. That's gonna be delicious. Now in cleaning the Espro, you do wanna make sure it's cool before attempting to clean it. And because the bottom is made out of stainless steel, you can place this in the dishwasher to clean. You do wanna hand wash the filters, plunger, and the top lid though, to keep it all nice and sparkling new. And that's the Espro Ultralight Travel Press for you. It's a no brainer for space saving, keeping your French press coffee or tea nice and hot for hours, and it makes a great choice for travel, being so lightweight and leak proof. So if you have any questions on the ultralight press, then throw them in the comments section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen, and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.